the magic lake. Pedro was singing while he was walking towards the lake, his old axe slung over his shoulder. Manglihok ta kay pobreta, mga huyning pobring at sa, sa merkado ibaligya, kay kung dili na magtinga. He said, we're going to work because we are poor. This old axe will gather firewood to be sold in the market. Otherwise, we have nothing to eat. And when he arrived in the forest by the lake, he saw a fallen tree and he said, Perfect! I don't even have to cut down the tree. And so, he started working right away. Chop and chop and chop and chop and sometimes he wipes away the sweat from his brow and he continue working chop and chop and chop and chop the sun was beating down on his back and he wanted to finish the job quickly so he could go to the market early but as he raised his axe to take another swing its blade suddenly slipped off and it flew at the lake behind him Oh no, Pedro said, as his blade disappeared in the water, as it made a big splash. Pedro had only one axe, and he didn't have enough money to buy a new one. Thinking quickly, he took off his shirt and dove into the water. He dove deeper and deeper, but he could not get into the bottom of the lake. He tried many more times, but he could not do it. And as he sat under the shade of a tree, he was worried and thinking how he could get a new blade. And while he was sitting there, a beautiful fairy rose up from the water and magically appeared before him. Pedro gasped at the sight of her. She was beautiful. Her hair fell down up to her ankles and her eyes expressed purity and kindness. The fairy smiled and asked, What happened? And Pedro stood up and quickly put back his shirt on, and he explained what just happened. And swiftly, the fairy dove into the lake, and when she emerged, she was holding an axe blade that shone brightly in the sun. It was made of pure silver. Is this the one? Pedro was thinking he could make a lot of money with that silver axe blade. But he shook his head and said, No, that's not my blade. And so the fairy dove into the lake again and when she appeared, she was holding another axe blade that was also shining. It was made of pure gold. And then Pedro was thinking he could make a lot of money with that blade and he could become the richest man in their barrio or in the neighborhood. But then again he said, no, that's not the one. That is not my blade. And so once again, the fairy dove into the lake. And when she appeared, this time she was holding the old iron axe blade of Pedro. And she asked, is this the one? And Pedro said, yes, that's the one. And delighted, he took it from the fairy and said, thank you very much. The fairy smiled and said, I admire your honesty, and because you are an honest man, I am going to give you these two blades, the silver and the gold one. Pedro's face brightened, and he said, Really? But those might belong to someone else. And the fairy said, No, I made these blades for you. Pedro thanked the fairy again, and... He immediately went home and shared the good news to his wife. He said, we can sell them 
and we can save the money for our children's schooling. The wife was so pleased and she shared the good news to their neighborhood. During the night, the news about Pedro was known all over the barrio. Even the children were talking about Pedro, the fairy, and the two axes, the silver and the gold. Everybody was happy for Pedro, except their neighbor, Lito, because he thought he deserved the axes more than Pedro. Early the next morning, Lito loosened the blades of his two axes, and he went to the forest exactly the same spot where Pedro was. And he began cutting down a tree. And as he expected, the blade of his axe flew into the lake behind him. And so he grabbed another axe and the same thing happened. The blade flew into the lake. And then he sat down and pretended to be crying. Before long, the fairy appeared before him and asked him why he was crying. And Lito explained that his two blades were buried in the lake. And as he expected, the fairy dove into the lake. And then the fairy appeared first with a silver blade. And she asked, is this yours? You found it! Lito pretended to be surprised. Thank you very much. Do you think you can find the other one? Lito said. And the fairy dove into the lake once again. And when she appeared, she was holding the gold blade. Is this the one? And Lito pretended to be surprised. And he said, yes, that's the one. Thank you very much. But the fairy said, you can have neither of these blades. I only help people who are honest. And then the fairy said, get out of my woods quickly and never return. And then she disappeared. Lito had no choice but to go home feeling very much ashamed. I am not any richer and I even lost my two axes, he said to himself. I wish I had been wiser and I hadn't been so greedy.